Shalom, giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutation as always to the elect. And um, I was just doing some uh, research um, on Hollywood. And uh, I remember a while back, you know, it was brought out, you know, that uh, the entrance of Hollywood is a Babylonian wall. All right. Along with various Babylonian idols. All right. Uh, idols that go back to Samaria, you know, uh, the uh, Assyrian Babylonian Empire. OK, uh, the, you know, Egypt. OK, which pretty much is the energy all right that this world thrives on okay and uh our people who go to hollywood if you notice the common trend is that they get swallowed up okay they get chewed up and spit out and they become you know more satanic um you know they 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 perform lewd acts they get hooked on drugs they you know perform in orgies and all of these various different things including orgies all right uh are associated with idol worship okay and the behavior in hollywood all right is a result of heavy demonic activity all right which goes on all right and uh the entrance as you can see here all right is a uh babylonian wall all right and um i went to this uh article that i found and i'll read a little bit of it all right, and I wanna we're gonna go into uh this thing of Hollywood, which has destroyed the souls of many of our people who seek to try to get the fame, all right, uh that is already promised to them, but they trying to get it on the left hand side. They're trying to get it before all right, uh it's it's given unto them. They don't wanna go through the humiliation, you know, uh humbling yourself process, the repentance process and do what's necessary to achieve the fame that's coming to us all right they try to go up some other way all right which it, it, their soul is pierced and you can see the fruits of that with how our people act okay they put dresses on okay they 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 always hooked on drugs and you know a lot of them are homo you know the the 90 percent i mean all of the men pretty much are homosexuals all right, and and this is ultimately just the Babylonian church because as we'll show you, all right, this all this is why America is called spiritual Sodom in Egypt. Okay, uh, a lot of it has to do with the idols that were in those particular um, societies. They're back here today. Okay, and our people get into these situations and their souls are completely devoured because they don't have protection against these demons the protection against these demons starts at the name of yahweh bashmi al shai and it's true doctrine all right now i'll go to zephaniah real quick um 3 and 19 okay and it says uh behold at that time i will undo all that afflict thee all right and that's the other nations the heathen he's gonna undo them and he's starting to do that now okay and i will save her that halted all right the woman uh that's in travail crying out because of uh this 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 other <laughs> this other uh uh man trying to come devour her okay and gather her that was driven out the israelites scattered and i will get them praise and fame all right in every land where they have put to shame or where they have been put to shame okay and that process is starting now all right but this word for fame all right is ultimately uh uh shem which is name all right, you hear these uh, so-called Jews say this term anti-Semitic, uh, all right, because they're, they're saying that they come out of Shem, all right, but there's other nations that come out of Shem, okay? <laughs> you, you, you devils are, are weirdos, man, but the, the name Shem, uh, name, it sees reputation, you know, fame, glory, the name, okay, at, as designation of God. Uh, memorial monument and then when you go to the root word uh um shawam to put to to uh place to set to appoint and we're going to be appointed okay we're, we're going to be established all right fixed all right in the positions that the lord wants us to be as the sons of god on the earth okay and we're going to get that fame it's not going to be the fame of this world because the fame of this world 
all right, is is, is, is it leads to destruction. Okay? We're going to be at the forefront of ushering in righteousness on the earth. Okay, when 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 people see us, all right, the, the we will you know we will be hollowed. We will be a holy people. Okay, the fame that we're going to get is going to be opposite of the fame of this world, which is based upon. All right, how how many sacrifices you can give unto Satan? Because just as we're required to offer up our bodies as living sacrifices, okay, Satan on the left hand side requires a sacrifice, man, and Satan has his priesthood. Okay, the left hand have their priesthood. Okay, if we're looking, all right, at Babylon, I mean, we're looking at Hollywood, okay, and we can see that it it's a uh, the opening of it is a Babylonian wall. Okay, well, this this is Babylon. Okay, this is the daughter of Babylon. Did not the Neo Babylonian Empire, which fell to the Persians and the Medes, have the uh, Chaldeans? Okay, which were the witches and warlocks of that society? Absolutely. Now, later on in this video, um, Lord will, we'll get to uh, this video, which is um, called The Secret Origin of Hollywood, will shock you. Okay, it says Rome where Hollywood really comes from, all right? And um, in prophecy, okay, Rome and Babylon are linked, all right, in the sense that the fourth beast, which is the Roman Empire, okay, um, has another little horn that comes forth from it, and that little horn that comes forth from it, all right, is the revival of the Roman Empire, all right? Um, and in scripture and prophecy, it's known as Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, okay? And um, this is the the mother of all harlots, okay? As it says in uh, Revelation 17 and 5, it says, And upon her head was a name written, Mystery Babylon, all right? The great, all right? The mother of harlots and abominations of the earth, all right? And America is the hub of the abominations that are split, spread throughout the earth, okay? And um, our people, all right, who uh, get into this whole you know, arena are swallowed up trying to get fame. All right. That, that ultimately is already promised to them in righteousness, man. So like these guys like Jay-Z, all right. Uh, Puff Daddy, you know, Michael Jackson or whoever else it is, you know, with some of them were offered up by their parents, you know, who were a part of the whole society at a young age, you know, as sacrifices unto Satan. All right. But ultimately it's all, you know, it, it all boils down to they chase fame. And as on the left hand side, as there is a priesthood, you know, the more sacrifices you offer up, you know, maybe in the form of your own soul. OK, um, like polite, you know, he was justifying selling his soul, you know, and polite's living a good life. You know, he, he he's totally um, turned his back on you niggas took took your money. And now he's in Hollywood bragging about rubbing elbows with the so-called Jew. All right. But either way it goes, we're promised fame on the right hand side. OK, so an, an example is when the devil came to Yahawashai, right? OK, he came to Yahawashai. All right. Now, this is a, a mind frame that, you know, shows us how strong our, 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 our Lord and Savior was. And this is a mind frame that we are to take into this world. OK. Because temptations come in this world. Now, this is uh, Matthew 4 and 1. Then was Yahawashai led up of the spirit into the wilderness and tempted of the devil. All right. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward a hungry. Okay. He was famished. And when he and when the tempter came to him, he said, if thou be the son of God, command these stones that they be made bread. Okay. And he, he cut the devil. I'll jump to the point in verse eight. It says, again, the devil taketh them up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and saith unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou shalt fall down and worship me. OK, and Yahweh said unto him, get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shall thou serve. And the devil leaveth him and behold, the angels came and ministered unto him. All right. And as we put off this world, OK, eventually the angels are going to deliver us. But uh, as you can see, the devil tried to give you something that was already promised to him, man. 
Okay, if you read Psalm 72, he, he's, he, you know, how, how it's promised we're going to have the fatness of the earth, that the government will be on his shoulders. It was already promised unto him to have, have the world, man. You know, that blessing that was given unto Jacob is going to come through Yahawashai, man. Okay, the, the, the fatness of the earth. Who's going to be the chief, you know, uh, uh, governor? Yahawashai, man. Okay, and we're going to be the government with King David being at the head of the 144,000, man. Lord willing, you know, we're of that number, man. But the bottom line is Yahweh Shai already knew, okay, what was coming unto him and what he had to do to be glorified to get that, okay, which which, which would aid, with that aid in him in going through what he had to go through, man. Okay, he didn't try to take the shortcut. Even when he was on the cross, <laughs> they offered him wine mingled with myrrh, which is a numbing agent, and he turned it down. He, he fully in took what he had to take in order to get what the Lord had, all right, promised for him, man. And that's the same mind frame we have. We don't bow to Satan, all right, like a lot of our people have in order to, to get fame or riches, all right, on a left-hand side, man. Okay? And there is power within that left hand. Okay? There, there is some true magic, which is why when our people do it and they see that it works, Okay, the, 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 the vow acts, you know, sacrificing, you know, even their own children. Okay, and the things that it gets them on the left hand side, they're like, this works. You know, even when you go into uh, Moses, at the time of Moses, uh, Pharaoh had priests, okay, who perform uh, magic, you know, the, 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 the Canaanites, okay, who were uh, old inhabitants of the Holy Land, they, they had a priesthood. So if this is the spiritual Sodom in Egypt, okay, if all of the, the those different gods and goddesses are back here from the ancient world and, and, and uh, which were wicked and used for the uh, purpose of witchcraft, okay, then that priesthood has to be back here today. You see, and this is when our people go into Hollywood and in these different arenas, okay, uh, and the higher they go up, this is what they're dealing with, man, okay? This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon 12 and 3. For it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers both those old inhabitants of the Holy Land whom thou hatest for doing the most odious works of witchcrafts and wicked sacrifices. Okay? And also those merciless murders of children, which you see that in place today. You hear about Pizzagate. Okay, this is uh, basically that ancient priesthood back here on the planet Earth, murderers of children, pedophiles, devourers of men flesh, that happens. Feast of blood, they drink blood. Okay, the reason why you see these things going on, that's showing you that that left-hand priesthood, all right, uh, uh, that the Hamites had is back here through the new Pharaoh, through uh, uh, the Big Daddy Cain, <laughs> all right, the, 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 uh, the Edomite, okay? who embodies this man it said with their priest out of the midst of their adulterous crew now what does a priest do all right the priests offer up the sacrifices and they commune all right with the most high through his son on the right hand side okay on the left hand side you have that very same priesthood but in wickedness and they communicate with satan which is why when you read second thessalonians chapter 2 Okay, Second Thessalonians chapter two, the 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 man of sin. Okay, verse eight it says, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all signs, all right, and lying wonders. Okay, so his coming is after the working of satan his very reason for being here is to do the bid of satan on the planet earth man and he's being revealed the new pharaoh pharaoh had his priest all right and our people are getting de uh, devoured by these demons when they go into that arena man because uh uh this is this is a, a website secrets in plain sight it says the magic of hollywood it said the Druids, all right, <laughs> demons, 
were tree worshipers. Okay, that goes back to Babylon. That's where you have the fir tree. Okay, which is known as the Christmas tree in this time. All right, which is used in idol worship, man. Okay, it's not that the tree is wicked, but the 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 the, the use of it in this world is wicked. That's why it says the fir tree is going to rejoice. All right, because as the fir trees were used in idol worship back then, they're used in idol worship in this time, man. And it evokes some serious demons on people, man. Look at the behavior of the people after these days. They're all engulfed in Satanism with a smile, man. Okay, in the name of love and folly, okay? Folly, la, 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 that's stupid-ass song, man. Big grown-ass man with the, with the Santa Claus hat on, man. He drink drinking eggnog, man. This these these different idols, Easter, have our people in a very stupid, childish spirit, man. It says the holly was the most sacred symbol used. It was sacred to Mother Hole or Hell, okay. Uh, and I believe um, let's see. It says the in the Norse goddess of the underworld. See, they all deal with the underworld. That's why they celebrate Halloween. Okay, that's why they, the, 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 you look at the music videos, it's all darkness. You know, the, you, you, you go to watch a Super Bowl, you know, just sit back and look at a Super Bowl, and then the halftime show comes on, and, the, and people are throwing up blood and eyes, black all around their eyes, dancing with the stupid demonic look in their eyes. You turn it off, man, which I don't even watch football like I used to, but everything is dark, man. Okay, you got a uh, transsexual stripping for children. That 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 all comes from these different demonic, all right, idols, man. Because remember, this is the mother of all harlots, man. Okay, it says, uh, and I'm gonna go down to uh, let's see here. It says, thus we have Hole or Hollywood, Hellwood, the place of magic. Okay, a home the at home of the Illuminati's. The left-hand priesthood, that's all the, the Illuminati is, is the priesthood on the left-hand side. Okay, every every society is bound by its priesthood, man. And when we get the kingdom, the priesthood, after the order of Malak Tazadak, Melchizedek, all right, will be the 144,000. But all of our men, of, of the men of our nation will be priests, man, because the laws will be written in them. But there will be an order to things. It says um, mass propaganda and conditioning machine, all right, and that's what, you know, Hollywood is used for. That's what the whole TV, all right, which is in everyone's living room was for, all right, to uh, uh, invoke demons on the people without actually having to be there, man. They use color schemes. They use uh, uh, different wordings and positionings and different things to put spells on people, and it works. Meanwhile, all right, they, they give you the bread and circuses and things, and meanwhile, they're taking all your rights and get ready to destroy you, man. The Hollywood was a favorite source of magic wands, okay? Like uh, uh, on the, the show, the Showtime Apollo, they rub that, you know, uh, that, that wood. You know, that's an ancient, okay, way, all right, of, of witchcraft, man. Okay? This is from a book called uh, The Children of the Matrix by David Icke, which he has some good stuff, but you just have to pick out the bones, man. Okay, um, then it goes into some history. All right, when you look up Harry Potter, all right, all of these different things are dealing with, with, with some true left-hand magic that they're into, man. You know, I'm going to just jump to the point. You know, even this Oscar is an idol, all right, that goes back to the ancient world, man. Okay, in Egypt, they had something just like this. Okay, so, so all of the, the various different ways, man, of ancient Egypt, even the red, white, and blue are back here today. All right, the different priests, some of them, you know, who are the different men who are of a higher ranking class, the priest, uh, some wore red, some wore white, and, and the others wore blue. Okay, look it up. You see? But these are things that our people sacrifice their souls to get these awards, and it's deeper than just this award. Okay, you're moving up the ladder of Satanism, man. All right? And within... Hollywood being a Babylonian church, you have your temple harlots, you have your catamites, which are the, the male prostitutes. That's why you have the pedophile rings. All right, Beyonce, Jay-Z, look at them niggas. They're absolutely drained 
of of the spirit and they've totally given themselves over to satan all right trying to get what's promised to us some other way okay and that's what hollywood is all about man to draw you in okay to 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 offer enough sacrifices unto satan now if that's the babylonian wall as you can see it says the centerpiece of hollywood in highland is a massive tree three-story courtyard inspired by the babylonian scene all right uh here's a 3d view in google earth okay what you got particular people saying there ain't no satellites well where do these pictures be coming from <laughs> all right the, i'm talking about the ones that go even way higher up and you can zoom in on even your own neighborhood man it says in a clip from the 1916 uh film all right and there you go that's the entrance of babylon you see those different idols okay the theater uh poster from intolerance okay where do you see the hand grabbing after the children because they're going to sacrifice that child child sacrifice is a heavy part of this devil's all right society which all right when our people were in babylon the babylonian captivity uh, lo and behold what did they do they worshiped the queen of heaven which was later on called diana at the time of acts which caused the uproar we'll get that okay which you know is now today back through what you know the the, the queen of heaven you know worshiping the woman il nana il nana foxy brown il nana is a goddess of the ancient world okay why do you think you see these particular children going missing what they call them kids why do they call them kids a kid is a baby goat all right for sacrifice okay really they're children but we got used to to that term kid which a kid can also mean a, a, a child but as you can see the 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 children are devoured within this society man because of the wicked priesthood okay um let me go down a little bit more it says the babylonian the babylonian story is one that develops that developers decided to build out at hollywood and highland here's a close-up shot okay you see um and you see the wings the lion now when you read daniel the seventh chapter daniel the seventh chapter okay when you go to daniel seven and four speaking of the uh four empires all right that will rule the four major empires because there were of course there were more but the major ones that would uh rule the earth you had daniel 7 and 4 it said the first was like a lion that had eagle's wings all right which uh, there was a brother in new york that went to a museum and it showed some ancient assyrian babylonian art and it had the lion with the wings man okay it says and i beheld till the wings there were plucked so it was a lion with eagle's wings man that's the assyrian babylonian empire okay um it says the elephant reminds me of the uh Pax, paxiderms discussed in Bolton arsenic and war it says the pair of lions are symbols of babylonian ishtar which is east which is where you get easter from so all of these different gods are back man okay it says uh also known in sumerian anana see ilnana remember foxy brown was always talking about ilnana Let's type that in real quick. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> Foxy Brown. Nana. Foxy Brown. Yo, Nana. All right. See what comes up. There you go. They had a song, her and Method Man, called Il Nana. Foxy Brown, the Il Nana. Yeah. See that? yeah see but they, see they put that good music that that music behind it and see you don't really understand that demons are being evoked on you and, and it promotes a particular behavior amongst the, the women the men okay this is nothing but the queen of heaven man queen of heaven worship is big man okay at the time of acts all right <laughs> this is the story of paul all right uh and I'm going to be all over the place, you know. It is what it is. 
Uh, this is Paul, Acts 19 and 24, dealing with a guy named Demetrius, who a lot of brothers make mention that this could be Sonnetter. All right, it says, for a certain man named Demetrius, the silversmith, which made silver shrines for Diana. Let's look up Diana. Okay. This is Ilnana. Uh, Artemis. It says, Diana, complete light, flow strain. All right. And they call themselves the light bearers, right? Artemis. Uh, it said, the goddess of many Asiatic people to be distinguished from Artemis of the Greeks, the sister of Apollo. All right. A very splendid temple was built for her at Ephesus. So you got to understand our forefathers, the Gentiles, were in the same position that we're in. You see, now things are just more subtle. But back then, they actually had temples to these different gods and goddesses, which we have them today, but you just don't know. The Oracle Arena and these various different Colosseums. Okay, these things are all, you know, uh, 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 built in, you know, for other gods, man. You see? <laughs> uh, and they were repenting and coming back to the gospel through Paul and the apostles preaching, man. The same thing that w that's happening with us, man. The Gentiles are the Israelites who were scattered amongst these nations who turned from these different gods. That's why I said ye were Gentiles, all right, carried away of these dumb idols, man. Okay? So, you know, a Grecian goddess borrowed by the Asiatics, Asiatics for their uh, deities, all right? <clears throat> and there's a lot of history. You can go into it, but... um. This guy, Demetrius, a silversmith, which made uh, silver shrines for Diana, brought no small gain unto the craftsmen, whom he called together with the workmen of like occupation. So he made idols. And you look at that nigga Sonetta's house when he's, he, he got all sorts of idols in there, man. All right. <laughs> all right. But this is all of those House of Consciousness dudes. All, of they, all those dudes are, are idol worshipers, woman worshipers, man. Okay. It says, uh, whom he called together with the workmen of like occupation and says, sirs, you know that by this craft we have our wealth. All right. You know, selling these different idols. This is how we make our money. This is how we get paid. All right. Moreover, ye see and hear that not alone at Ephesus, but almost throughout all Asia, this Paul had persuaded and turned away much people saying they be no gods, which are made with hands. And that's what we're doing. And you see, he, he has a big push against the scriptures, man. These house of consciousness niggas, man. Sonnetter. It says not only, not that only so that not only this, our craft is in danger to be set at naught because people will turn it from those idols. Okay. And Jake, is it, it, even even a uh, Jake all right or is into the was into the Greek and Roman culture more than Esau was man and you see that today <laughs> okay it says but also that the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised and her magnificence should be destroyed okay it says whom all Asia and the world worship it and this world worships the queen of heaven man. Even you Israelites are in that queen of heaven spirit, man. Okay? Which is why when, when we go in on the ancient law of rape, you know, for the protection of the women and to, to gain followers, you cry out. When we get on the women, you cry out and say we, we, we shouldn't get on our sisters and all of these various different things. Okay? But then when somebody disrespects you, how is you? You guys don't say nothing. But when the woman... You feel like the woman is is being uh, got on, all right? Which a lot of camps ain't been doing that lately because a lot of them are waking up to you women, man. <laughs> you know, women are worthy of rebuke, man. Come on now, the hell out of here. All right, but it says whom all Asia and the world worship. The the world worships the Queen of Heaven, man. Okay. And they tried to come to Yahweh with that madness, and he cut it. It says, and when they heard these things, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. The black woman is God. I remember there was a a, a, um, a uh, debate between, you know, I believe uh, it was Sonetta hosted it. But, man, there came a point, you know, they were the Hebrews debating the House of Consciousness niggas in polite 
you know, start talking about how the black woman of God, them niggas, it was a nigga with a ponytail and an all linen suit who jumped up and with a ponytail. The, the, the black woman is God! Missing teeth on the side. All right, completely out of his, bugged out of his mind, man. Because that's the same spirit. They cried out saying, great is Diana, and the whole city was filled with confusion. So Paul pretty much started a riot, man. <laughs> you know? And, and there's more, you know, to that to that story. But um, getting back, you know, to uh, this, this uh, article, it says the pair of lions are symbols, okay, of Babylonian Ishtar. That's where you have Easter. And let's look, and real quick, let's look up Ishtar. I want to show you something. <laughs> I want to show you something, man. Ishtar, real quick. Look at this. Now, this is Ishtar. Don't, don't these women, ain't these women turning themselves into that with them wide-ass hips? With them, with them fake booties? You see how they hips going out far? They looking all weird. Legs too skinny for their booty. Booty. He, this place is absolutely through, man. Just a thought, all right? There's nothing new under the sun, man. They, 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 these women are turning themselves into Ishtar. They always holding their titties in the pictures and being uh, whores and sluts. This nigga. And and that's and, and these women are walking around. Now there's laws in particular places where they can walk around naked. Okay? My pussy, my choice. All of these things have particular gods and goddesses tied to them, man. Okay? It says, here's what I'm calling the Ishtar Gate. Okay? This is the entrance to the, the bap to Hollywood. Showing you that this is the Assyrian Babylonian Empire all over again, man. All of those different idols of those different places. It says the God on the right is a, a Assyrian Nishrach, Babylonian Nushku. All right. Uh, the, the pine cone, pineal gland. All right. Because that's where the spirit dwells, right? Is uh, strangely absent in the Hollywood version. All right, Nakusu was the son of the god Sin. All right, the god Sin. <laughs> oh, man. wonder what that god is all about. N Nakusu was the son of the god Sin. I wonder what the god Sin is all about. Let's see. Uh... Let's see what the guy sin is all. Let's see what we can find on this guy. Sin, okay. Sight cannot be reached, huh? Let's see. Fuck your sight, then. Nah, nah, it's the same thing. Uh, a Mesopotamian moon god, all right, and they worship the moon too. They worship the stars, the moon, the sun. Um, man, that's deity of Ur. Remember uh, Abraham came from the Ur of the Chaldeans, man. Okay, they worship the bull. You see Baphomet. met. Alright, you can look these things up. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> it says that's interesting because Ishtar Sumerian Anana or Ilnana was the daughter of Sin. Alright. In the Sumerian version alright, Anana and her son god brother Utu were twins. But then, you know, they, they say that we're bugged out. But then any any nigga who's of the house of consciousness, they talk about Egypt and, you know, all of those different hermetic cultures. Well, this is what they were into a lot of them, man. All right. And it goes on. You know, um, you get the, the gist. But this is what uh, the foundation of Babylon. All right. Hollywood is, man. OK. Uh, witchcraft, man. OK. So we're going to go to this video. All right, and then we'll get a uh, few other scriptures, man, because, all right, our people try to get into this uh, arena and they're absolutely destroyed, man. Okay, this is uh, First, Timoth First Timothy's uh, chapter 6 and 9. It says, but they, all right, uh, let us start here. All right, First Timothy 6 and 8, and having food and raiment, let us 
be there with content. All right. But he that will be rich. All right. All right. Uh, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and unto many foolish and hurtful lust, which drown men in destruction and perdition. You see that it, it drowns men into destruction and perdition, man. And look at our people who go to Hollywood, man. They end up selling their soul, man. And they think they're built for it, but they become darker and darker and darker and, and they destroy themselves, man. OK, Proverbs 15 and 27. He that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, man. But he that hated gifts shall live. All right. It says a, a, a wicked gift. All right. That 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 a, 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 a someone takes out of the bosom, meaning it's a secret. OK. It, it perverts judgment, man. Okay? So he that is greedy of gain troubleth his own house, but he that hated gifts that, that won't sell out like Moses in Egypt, man. Once he found out the truth, he 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 uh he turned from the riches of Egypt, man. All right, Proverbs 20 and 21. An inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning, but the end thereof shall not be blessed. And that's what's happening to our people who go to Hollywood who get into the music industry, who who go up the ladder. They get valor and valor and valor. Look at them, man. They got tattoos all over their face. All right, they they they, they uh, compromise on the left-hand side, okay? They do rituals. They're, they're, they bend over. They, they perform rituals where they uh, torture children, uh, have sex with children, drink blood, drugs, you see, so it, uh, an inheritance may be gotten hastily at the beginning, but the end thereof shall not be blessed, man. And that's what happens to our people who go into this arena, man. They become sellouts, man. OK. Uh, this is uh, Proverbs 28 and 22. He that hasted to be rich hath an evil eye and consider it not that poverty shall come upon him and they all lose at the end. They all always broke. OK, and those of them who, who uh, may die and nothing you know happens to them, they're going to they're going to be they're going to pay for their wickedness, man. All souls will be judged for, for for their wickedness, man. OK, because you you're raised back up, man. Um, Let's see here now. I wanted to play a little bit of this video. Um. And then uh, if we get any other uh, uh, scriptures out of this, then we'll get them. But ultimately, I just wanted to get into and show how Hollywood, you know, is basically Jake trying to go up some other way and take a shortcut to gain the world. But they, they give up their soul. And what, did, what does the scripture say? What profit it? What profit a man, you know, though he gain the world, but lose his soul, man. All right. <clears throat> and what profit it uh prop Matthew 16 and 26 for what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Okay? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul, man? Okay? And the main people who Satan used to promote these abominations on, on, on the forefront is Jake, man. It's Jake, okay? It's all sorts of demons being evoked on you whenever you watch something on TV, whenever you listen to this music. It's all blessed and ordained of the left hand, man, okay? So you, you cast away your soul, but you gain the world, man. That, that's not of the, that, that's through. Okay. <laughs> yep. Well, what can a, a man give in exchange for a soul? According to polite, you can give your soul away. As long as you go into the Greek. And where did that nigga learn to go into the Greek at? That nigga wasn't going into the Greek before us, man. You guys are some clowns, man. But uh, here's a good video in uh, Lord Willing You Edified. <clears throat> Well, hello everyone. I'm taking a walk today in the Hollywood Hills. Am I in the United States of America? 
I hear you ask. No, I'm just on the outskirts of Rome. These are the Hollywood Hills, no joke. This place is called Nemi, which in Latin is Nemus. Or the Holy Wood. You see how all the trees in the hills are very, very ironically similar to the United States Hollywood in California. I think you could pretty much just insert the American Hollywood sign right in the middle of that grove and it wouldn't look much different to what we see on television. Uh, also that lake right in the center, that's called Diana's Mirror, which emperors used to sail into to assert themselves as stars. <laughs> you would not believe just how many roads lead to Rome. As brothers do video on the uh, there's there's Roman architecture, there's Roman literature, the, you know the Roman numerals. There's various different things that lead you back to Rome in this very empire, America, man. Okay, because uh, the, the 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 daughter of Babylon is an extension of the Roman Empire, man. And that fourth beast, and in its tired in its entirety, is ran by Esau Edom. That is. His blessing of the fatness of the earth would be through that fourth beast in which he would gain the world through, all right, the sword, through lies, through witchcraft, through war, through bloodshed, through deception. Okay? And they used the different gods of the ancient world, all right, to aid them, all right, in weakening the nations. <laughs> Nemus Hollywood, all right, was a hub of violent witchcraft in Rome. Huh. Same thing happening today in Hollywood. The high priest sacrificed victims to the goddess Diana. Jake getting into this stuff ain't nothing new. You can read at the time of Jeremiah, our, our forefathers were sacrificing their children unto these various different idols, man. And even passing their children through the fire, man. Okay, which Christmas goes back into all of that, man. The Yule Log, okay. Um, let's see here. Psalms 106. Hmm. This video go go it'll trip you out, man. Psalms 106 and 35, uh, it says, But they were mingled among the heathen and learned their works and served their idols, which were a snare unto them. Yea, they sacrificed their sons and their daughters unto devils and shed innocent blood, even the blood of their sons and even of their daughters, whom they sacrificed unto the idols of Canaan, Okay, and the land was polluted with blood. Okay, and you see, uh, you know, Planned Parenthood, that's just one medium of child sacrifice. All right, uh, uh, our, our, uh, the, the women putting their sons and daughters in Hollywood, that's a form of sacrifice. All right, uh, not building them up with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man, raising them up on lies, man. It's a miracle that we came out of this madness, man. But this is why when you read, let me get this real quick. Okay, 1 Corinthians 12. Okay, in 2 it says, Ye know that ye were Gentiles carried away unto these dumb idols, even as ye were led. So those Gentiles were Israelites who were led away of those idols, man. But through faith and hearing the preaching of the word, they turned from those idols, man. Okay, which there was heavy idol worship. In, in Ephesus, Corinth, and these different places where Paul was preaching, man. So he was of the threat of imminent death, man. Which is where we find ourselves today. All right. Going back here. Y 
it really makes you think. I mean, the whole thing is a bit like a net, isn't it? It's like a trap, it's a snare, that they would sail into these waters and then, unbeknown to them, uh, they're actually being sort of lured in by its beauty and they were to be sacrificed in the temple of Diana. Sounds a little familiar, doesn't it, with uh, the Hollywood of today, that it kind of lures us in with its impressiveness and its beauty, and that really it's uh, Jezebel's net, uh, and people are being sacrificed into it. People give their all to be in it, and people get brainwashed by it, and they lose themselves to it. And people sacrifice so much, so much. As uh, as we read, all right, in uh, First Timothy, all right, uh, six and nine. But they which fall, which will be rich, fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men into destruction, all right, um, which drown men into destruction and perdition, man, okay? <laughs> so that the, look, at, look at Richard Pryor, look at Marvin Gaye, and I'm speaking of our people, all right? It also happens to other nations as well, all right? They become even valor, you know, than they already are, but our people go into this uh, arena and they totally bug out of their mind, Donnie Hathaway, all right? bugged out of his mind you know and he 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 told people that edomites white people were trying to tie machines to his brain and then he he jumped out of a window and they blamed it on depression the 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 reason our people bugging out richard pryor damn near burned himself to death you know and the rest of our people man martin lawrence bugging out losing whitney houston bobby brown they're all through and then they go to Vlad TV, okay, or, or do an unsung, and people get to see, hear them talk about their downfall, man. But nobody ever gets into the, 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 the crux of what the true issue is. And remember, Dave Chappelle tried to say, well, maybe the environment is a little weird. Well, then he, he, they shut his ass the hell up, man. Now, of course, he is saying things now, but you've seen that period of what he went through. This is all the left hand, man. This shit is real, man. Technology has <clears throat> Their time, so much of their life, to Hollywood. It's exactly the same thing. The amount, the sheer amount that Hollywood and the mainstream media have changed people, have distracted people, have changed their lives, have made people more self-engrossed encourage self-worship they have it's amazing how much television has changed this world has changed so many cultures and corrupted so many cultures across the whole world and what it what does the scripture say uh babylon have been a golden cup I believe is uh 57 yeah, jeremiah 57 51 and 7 babylon had been a golden cup in the lord yahweh's hand that have made all the earth drunken okay through that tv is one of the main mediums man of witchcraft the nations have drunken of her wine her, her democracy her women's liberation and all these various different things that weaken them therefore the nations are mad so babylon america is at the forefront of that witchcraft man okay this is the embodiment of all those idols of the ancient world they're right here man which is why we're so that's another a part of our oppression you know which is w w which weighs us down all from that one place casting its spell over the viewers
Roman numerals for 911 Gate of Apollo. Very interesting. Nimi, the Temple of Diana, suggests that it was used as a demonic gate. And sure enough, just off the coast of the water, the Temple of Diana, where they used to sacrifice the people that came into this water. So it's clear that the Mother Goddess worship was very prevalent in this area. The Holy Wood, the worship of the Huntress. You can see... Um, the bow and arrow symbolism everywhere. But no telling's what people used to do here. They quite literally used to sacrifice those people in this temple of Diana. Of course, this is thousands of years old now. You can vividly picture really how evil this pagan worship actually is. It's absolutely satanic. Look at the fruits of it. Now, still, this is the mistake that some make. They think that this has all completely vanished and this, this doesn't happen anymore. Well, the Luciferians, they are pantheon. Yeah, you see all of these jakes. You've seen that, right? Okay, they're all down with the agenda, man. They are a part of that Babylonian church. They're, they're now uh, lesser illuminaries and priests and priestesses and temple harlots and catamites. All right. But it comes with a lot of blessings, man. That it's a true power, man, and and, and it's wearing a lot of them out. <laughs> you know, that's why a lot of them try to say I'm a retire or, you know, but 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 they 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 can't go nowhere, because once you sign your name in blood, okay, it, it's hard to leave, man. Even Michael Jackson, man, and a lot of our people try to say, well, he would. I don't think he sold out. I don't think he sold out. Well, if they didn't sell out, then they wouldn't make it to the top. Okay, all of those who are at the top, all right, best believe, okay, the 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 they've paid some sort of price on the left hand side, man. Some to more degrees, but either way it goes, all right, you've made an alliance with Satan, man. Even if you get on TV and okay homosexuality, Satan wants a victory. Either either way, Satan can get a victory, he'll take it. Okay, and you can see them. Look at this is wicked nigga, uh, Jay-Z, you know, and the rest of these demons, man. This is what they're a part of. Okay? Because on the left-hand side, okay, uh, uh, the, 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 the so-called white man, he likens himself to the, the light bearer. That's why they call themselves the Illuminati. Okay? As a matter of fact, let's get uh, Isaiah 14 real quick. Okay? They, they pride themselves on having a light, but their light is darkness, man. That's why in this place, the light is as darkness, man. If you have the true light, they look down upon you, man. Okay, this is uh, Isaiah 14, okay? And um, let's see here. And 14, it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, all right, O Lucifer? Now, when you read up, this is speaking of... Okay, the uh, the king of Babylon, man. Okay, the king of Babylon, which this is speaking of the daughter of Babylon in which the Lord is going to deliver us from and destroy, all right, and, 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 and pretty much, you know, deliver the Israelites and give us everlasting peace is going to be through the destruction of that fourth beast and that horn that came from that fourth beast, man. That's how the Lord is going to end everything, man. And who would be the nation ruling at that time? The Edomites, according to biblical prophecy. And they are the king of Babylon, man, the oppressor. So when you read down, okay, uh, the point, it says, How art thou fallen from heaven? Meaning, how are you taken from your glory, O, o Lucifer? Now, a lot of people try to say, well, this is Satan. As we just read in Second Thessalonians, they do the bidding of Satan. Okay? They do the bidding of Satan. And this, this word, Lucifer, okay? Hayalal, it just means light bearer. 
Now, who are the true light bearers of the earth, man? The sons of Aaron, the priesthood on the right hand side. That's what Aaron means. Okay, R01. Okay, what does it mean? Let's let's get it real quick. Okay, just how just everything that you see on the right hand side, the left hand has their version of it, man. Ah. Ah, Ra, Wan, light bringer. Okay, those were the priests. Okay, so on the left hand side, Satan through the Illuminati says that his light is the true light of the earth, man. And his his light is wickedness, man. It's darkness. Their right hand is the right hand of falsehood, as the scriptures say in Psalms, the 144th chapter, man. Okay. So how art thou fallen from your rulership heaven, O Lucifer? This, this isn't Satan being kicked out of heaven, man. Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into the heavens. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north, meaning he would be over the Israelites. Okay? And th this is his blessing. But but when you go down, verse 16, it says, They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, and saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble in that did shake kingdom? That's Esau. It's a man that ain't talking about the spiritual demon Satan. But he does come to do the bidding of the spiritual demon Satan, man. And he set up a big, wicked Babylonian church throughout the whole earth. Okay, you read about the Masons and... You know, the Illuminati, they have hijacked every sect of society and embedded it and pushed anti-Messiah vibrations through it, man. <clears throat> they think that this has all completely vanished and this, this doesn't happen anymore. Well, the Luciferians, they are pantheistic. They worship many gods and it, there's nothing new under the sun. This old age of gods and goddess worship is still the new age religion. It's still part of the same thing. It's, it's not disappeared at all. We've been very blessed that Christian values spread across this world. Uh, but you can see where it will... And Christianity is based upon the worship of these gods. See, the true light is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the Holy Spirit, man. This doctrine. That's the true light. We're the true light bearers, okay? The priesthood after the order of Malak Tazadak, the king of righteousness, man. In which we will be kings and priests and reign on the earth. And when we, our vibration will be a righteous vibration. All of the, even all of the heathen nations will be held to a righteous standard. Under the priesthood. On the right hand side but look what they're held to now man all of the children are being devoured wickedness everywhere okay end up when if people fall away from true biblical christian values of love and loving one another and loving jesus and Here loving your neighbor and do not murder you know you can you can see where the world will go is not evolving is it it's devolving back into the old age lies but they're just calling it new so it can't be good when you look back at the past and see that this is still part of the same luciferian religion it can't be going anywhere good can it because look at what used to happen do, do we want that again if you go down You know, it's pretty interesting, isn't it, that this place is called Diana's Mirror, when Hollywood is all about self-obsession. 
uh, self-worship is very interesting. You can see the same fruits in Hollywood today, Hollywood today, as we walk around this place which is called Nemi, which in Latin means holy wood, Diana and her holy wood. The lake is called Diana's Mirror. So really when you think about it, Hollywood is just an extension, uh, an artificial plastic version of what is already here. It's just a modern day replica. And that and that goes into the uh, wise saying that that which is then is now, man. Okay. <clears throat> Ecclesiastes, the first chapter. Okay. And we'll finish the rest of that. I'm trying to get to a point where I'm going to turn it off, but it's, it's so good, you know. This is Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing which had been, all right, it is that which shall be. And the thing, all right, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. So as we live in this spiritual Babylon, all right, uh, the spiritual Sodom and Egypt, all right, the, 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 uh, the rebirth of the Roman Empire, we see these various different energies and vibrations, all right, uh, uh, taking precedence on the earth right before our eyes. The image of the beast, all right, is speaking, okay? Of what is already on the outskirts of Rome. All roads lead to Rome. So really the one in the United States is like a pseudo uh, modern mock-up version of, of channeling the same thing, the worship and cult of Diana. That the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised and her magnificence should be destroyed whom all Asia and the world worshipeth. And when they heard these things, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. I'm making my way up to the town of Nemi itself. Notice the male-female symbolism, sex magic of the gate right in the center of the town wow look at the top the moon goddess a crescent moon with a crown so obvious oh boy the foundation of the shrine is clearly and they say the scriptures the Bible, all right, is basically a, 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 a off copy of those religions as well. Well, the Bible, let's get uh, Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. The Bible speaks out against those idols and different things. All right. Um, let's see here. That ain't what I'm looking for. Let's see, other destroyed. Yep, and there you shall serve gods, yada, yada, yada. Um, sun, I know it's the sun, the moon. The Bible speaks against those things, man. Um, serve those gods. Hold up. Hold up. Sun, moon. Uh, hold up. Give it one more try. Uh, yep, De Deuteronomy. Uh, yep, four and nineteen. It says, "And lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven, and when thou seest the sun and the moon." And the stars, even all of the heaven, the host of heaven, should us be driven to worship them and serve them, which the Lord thy God have divided unto the nations under the whole heaven. All right. Deuteronomy 17 and 3. 
and have gone and served other gods and worshipped them, either the sun or moon or any of the hosts of heaven, which I have not commanded. So the Bible speaks against these different uh, systems of worship, man. Okay? They were always around, but there was always a righteous way, man. And our people linked these different gods with the truth, man, and created different pseudo-religions that have nothing to do with what the Bible is talking about. And that's what Christianity ultimately is, man. Okay, it's incorporating all of these different gods and goddesses, okay, and, and trying to link them to the Bible. That's why they celebrate Christmas, Halloween, Easter, Ishtar. That's why they worship the women. Okay, that's why you go into those churches, the people have a, a very uh, left-hand, wicked, dumbed-down, uh, played-out vibration, man. Church niggas are played out, man. There's nothing more played out than a church nigga in 2019, man. Church people, period, they're corny, man. Won't he do it? My prayer war is all that. The Vatican, the Jesuit Illuminati, secret societies, guys. There it is. The sculpture of Diana, the Huntress. Light and souls, sister garden. <laughs> Remember also the symbolism we've looked into before with the wild hunt. The European folklore of Europa, you know, the goddess, uh, the wild hunt. Nimrod was the first one to bring together a coordinated effort of all mankind to come against the truth of the revealed word of God. Nimrod, the Bible said, was a hunter for souls. My friend, he was a hunter before the Lord. And what he hunted was not deer and elk. He was hunting the souls of men. And how ultimately it refers to the hunting of Christians. And how Hollywood is being used as propaganda to gear, you know, to prepare the world for that to prepare the world and to undermine the Bible and anti-Christian media. So this is all linking to the wild hunt. Um, and actually the folklore, European folklore of the wild hunt, it comes from another dimension. This is a spiritual war, which is why we're so adamant about what we do. Does that not tell you where the entertainment is coming from? Whose agenda is being pushed through the mainstream media? How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art All right, so, um, you know, th there's more um, I could come out with, you know, uh, at the end of the day. But uh, the point was made... Um, this is the anti-Messiah, you know, and witchcraft is at the forefront, you know, like it says in Isaiah, the 47th chapter, read that, you know, it's speaking of the daughter of Babylon, you know, this is the daughter of Babylon, the daughter of the Chaldeans, the daughter of Edom, all right, and when you read prophecy, Esau, Edom is directly linked, okay, to, um, to Babylon the great, man, Shalom.